Good morning, my friends, and welcome to another week of Miss Nicole's Virtual Storytime. Boy, do we have a silly story for this week. But before we get into our story, let's go ahead and review our story time schedule. So we're going to start with our hello song, and then we're going to do some songs with some movement. Then we're going to get into our silly story, and then we're going to do some more songs and movement, and then we do our goodbye song. So let's get right into it with our hello song. So let's get our hello hands out. So remember, you can do a small wave, you can do a medium wave, you can do a really big wave. We wanna make sure that we're saying hello to all of our friends and family. So here we go, we're gonna do it twice. So let's get our hello hands out. And here we go. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I hope that you are too. Good job, my friends. Okay, now we know what comes next, do we remember? It is our books to the ceiling song. So we're gonna go and stretch our arms, get a nice big stretch in here, and here we go, books to the ceiling. So we got books to the ceiling, reach, 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 books to the sky. My pile of books is 10 miles high. How I love them, how I need them. I'll have a long beard by the time I read them. All right, my friends, good job. Now, are we ready to shake our sillies out? Let's go ahead and get started. Gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wiggle my waggles out. Now we're in the clap. I gotta clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Wiggle my waggles out. Now we jump, 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 jump as high as you can reach that ceiling. Jump, jump, get out of your system. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Wiggle my waggles out. I got a yawn, yawn, oh, yawn, 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 my sleepy out, yawn, 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 my sleepy out, yawn, yawn, my sleepy out, I got a shake, oh, shake, 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 shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, 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 shake my sillies out, wiggle my waggles away, let's go, and wiggle my waggles away. Woo! Good job, my friends. Now we're ready for our story. So our story of the week is called The Perfect School Picture, written by Deborah Deason. Now, how many of you get really, really nervous on school picture day? I know when I was a kid, I was getting super nervous because I wanted to make sure that I had the best picture and that I looked so good and so organized and put together. And I think that's the same thing with our main character. He wants to make sure that he has the perfect picture for school day, but unfortunately, he's getting a little bit of bad luck and a lot of things happen to him. So if you're ready, let's read the silly story together. So the perfect school picture. I planned for months. This was going to be the year of the perfect school picture. But some days, not everything goes according to plan. The day started with the worst case of bedhead ever. So bedhead is almost like just how it sounds when you wake up and it looks like you just rolled out of bed. So your hair could be all standing up. It could be all crazy looking. So he had a bad case of bedhead. Then it took me quite some time to unearth my favorite shirt. I finally found it at the very bottom of the hamper. So what do we think? Is it gonna be clean? Is it gonna be wrinkly? I'm thinking it might be a little wrinkly. You might call it stained. You might call it wrinkled. You might even call it smelly. You wouldn't be wrong. Breakfast was picture day pancakes. Mm, that sounds good. A family tradition. This year's festivities involved a small syrup disaster more accurately described as a large syrup disaster. And it occurred exactly as the bus pulled up. Oh no, I had a feeling 
be beginning a new family tradition. On the bus, I got into a small bit of trouble. Make that a large bit of trouble. The bus driver made me sit in the seat right behind him for the rest of the ride. Oh man. By the time I got to school, my picture day face was fixed into a scowl. So he had a bad day. In class, Mrs. Smith collected our photo order forms. Do you think my mom checked emerald green for my photo background? Or peacock blue? Or pizzazzy purple? Mm -mm. Nope. Once again, all of the backgrounds in the world, mom checked snoring, boring, traditional gray. No one gets traditional gray, except for me. And it just so happens to be the only color in the world that makes my favorite shirt disappear. All but the stains and the wrinkles, of course. After that, the teacher had us all stand up and practice our picture day smiles. Personally, I thought we needed a little something to get us in the picture day mood. So let's see if we can get, up, get our character in the picture day mood. So let's all take a second and give me your best smile. So we want cheeks nice and bright. We want to show our teeth and a nice big smile like this. Good job, my friends. Uh-oh, whoops. He made a stinky vase, so he got himself in trouble again. Luckily, I got to rejoin the class in time for art. Art involved quite a lot of paint, or at least it, it did for me. Finally, it was time to line up, line up for our photos. Ned, just in front of me, got the last complimentary plastic comb. Oh, I watched the classmate after classmate smile for the camera. I got queasy listening to everyone say, cheese. I can't stand cheese. The mere thought of it turns me green, deeply green. And just as my face reached its most awful pea green shade, it was my turn. Now, his face didn't actually turn green, green. But sometimes if you're feeling sick to your stomach, that's called feeling green because you kind of feel sick and you feel like you're either going to have to use the bathroom or something's not right with your stomach. So that's what our character's feeling. He's very, very queasy and very nervous. <sighs> I stepped forward, I sat down on the stool. It was hard as a rock and cold as an iceberg. Just a sec, said the photographer as he fiddled with the camera knobs. <sighs> as I sat and waited, everything that had happened rushed through my mind. The monstrous messes, the muddles and the mix-ups, the whole day from the moment I rolled out of bed had gone perfectly. What? Even better than planned. This year, I was finally going to have the perfect school picture. Uh-oh. And that's when I heard, click! And in a flash, all my hard work, my perfectly tangled hair, my perfectly rumpled shirt, my perfectly sticky face, my perfectly composed scowl, that perfect boring background, those perfect paint splatters, that perfect sickly pallor. So remember, he's looking sick. Wasted, useless, ruined, in a moment of weakness by an unexpected smile. Mom says it's my best picture ever. Ah, but just wait till she sees next year. The end. My friends, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. What a silly character. Here we thought he was having such a bad day and what happened was he actually wanted to ruin his school picture, but he ended up making a mistake at the last minute and doing a great big smile. Maybe next year, he says. So now we're gonna get into our Good Books, Good Times song. So remember, we're gonna establish a beat. You can either clap your hands or stomp your feet. Clap your hands or slap your legs. And 
here we go in three, two, one. Good books, good times, good stories, good rhymes, good beginnings, good ends, good people, good friends, good fiction, good facts, good adventures, good acts, good stories, good rhymes, good books, good times, good jobs, my friends. Okay, now before we get into our goodbye song, I'm gonna tell you about our weekly challenge. So this week, I want you guys to post the silliest picture of yourself or family, mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, brother and sister that you can possibly do. And make sure that you tag the library in that. Because remember how our friend wanted to have the worst picture ever and wanted to do the silliest face ever? So now I challenge you, what is your silly face gonna be? So don't forget to make a silly face. You can use a whole bunch of different funny filters as long as you get parent permission. And as long as they're okay with you posting on our social media page, please do so and tag the library because we want to see all your silly, silly, silly faces. And I'll give you some examples of my silly faces too. So now that you know our weekly challenge, we're going to get into our goodbye song. Here we go. Okay. All right, my friends, I had so much fun with you this week, and I hope you did too. So let's get our goodbye hands out and get ready to wave goodbye. Bye-bye, goodbye, bye-bye, bye-bye, goodbye. I can clap my hands, go and clap your hands. I can stamp my feet and stamp our feet. I can clap my hands, my hands. I can stamp my feet and we'll stamp our feet. Good job. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye. Goodbye. Clap one more time. Goodbye. Okay, my friends, I hope you had a wonderful story time week and make sure that you follow our challenge and let's see some of those silly faces. Don't forget to tag the library. Hello everyone, Miss Nicole here with your weekly census message. So don't forget that you can still take the census for 2020 because the date has been extended to October. So if you haven't taken it already, um, please make sure that you do so. You can now do it online, you can do it over the phone, you can do it through mail. Um, online, it takes about 10 minutes and that's it. It's super easy, super fast, super simple. And just to give you a little bit update on where we are, not only in our state, but nationally, the numbers are, we are at 58.6% for a national self-response. For Illinois itself, we have a self-response of 63.7%. So can we reach 100%? We think so but we need your help. So remember, if you haven't done the census, make sure that you do so, and it's available through all different venues, as I stated. You can do it online, you can do it over the phone, you could also do it in mail. So don't forget, if you haven't taken it already, make sure you do so, you have until October. Bye guys, have a good week.